Another complementary action for uh, teacher training is uh, what is an initiative to build, to develop also social networks with teachers. And we use for that the same uh, social network that is using uh, this conference to exchange between us and to continue the discussions after the, the workshop and the keynotes. This is also a NINC uh, social network. And here we have developed uh, this place, what uh, you could find under EDUCAT, one by one, a space for, uh, for teachers participating in the, in the project to complement uh, formal, formal courses. Concerning just a few words about uh, the, the, the characteristics of the networks, uh, these are the, the main uh, characteristics. I think this is not a lot of importance uh, for, the, for this project, but well, I think we had to, to provide uh, some, uh, some information, at least about it. This, as you know, notebooks are around these 10 inches uh, screens, uh, long long uh, batteries uh, operating time, uh, light machines, special, uh, special uh, hard drives uh, that when the, when the computer falls, they stop and then you avoid some scratches on the, on the surface of the hard drive. So that this, one, this is one of the most uh, sensible parts of this equipment in the hands of young uh, uh, pupils. This cost for the families of the half of the, the cost of the market cost 150 euros and uh, this 20% of fully subsidized uh, machines. Uh, yeah. Well, and just to, uh, to finalize my, my uh, keynote, uh, this is uh, a roadmap for uh, future actions. These are the four mains, four main, uh, these ro wine rows, uh, this indicates our four main uh, preoccupation, this uh, e-inclusion or digital inclusion uh, to promote the digital competence, to uh, uh, foster uh, the methodological innovation and to be based on uh, advanced ICT infrastructure. In, in, each, in each quarter of these uh, wine rows, there is one main, uh, one focus for one of the main four actors. And uh, we expect that for the side of the students, so they develop a new methodology of collaboration, working in teams, and, and, and for knowledge building. Also, the, the, also to involve uh, families in this uh, in this approach to, uh, to ICT and especially to internet and to develop for them connected to the digital competence this feeling of e-responsibility in the use of uh, in the use mainly of, uh, of the internet but with all the digital resources concerning teachers we, we try to foster this idea of e-pedagogy to develop uh, is, is, is another term to, to, to focus on methodological innovation. I think we, uh, we have to, uh, to coin new terms to, to, to visualize this, uh, this transformation of, uh, of methodologies. And maybe, I don't know, but maybe e-pedagogy could be one of, the, of those, those, those terms. And to develop new, uh, new ways of, uh, of working together, eh? like, like the idea of uh, the social network uh, that I presented before. And of course, built on, on assessment and evaluating uh, the, the work uh, regularly uh, to see which uses of ICT are more uh, appropriate for learning. Concerning to schools, uh, every school with a virtual learning environment, every classroom converted in a digital classroom, and every school with an e-maturity project, e-maturity plan, e-maturity development plan. This is also an idea taken from the UK, from the DECTA institution. So you have, you, you, you see that we are very, very inspired also by, by our colleagues from the, from the UK. So this is another important idea for us to, to, that the schools have to, to develop. And concerning, uh, concerning administration, we will 
pretend to focus on new policies, this idea of policies dot to zero, combining top-down and bottom-up uh, approaches. For instance, one example of bottom-up is the adoption of Moodle uh, VLE. This has been uh, especially uh, uh, demanded by, by schools. Uh, maybe we, we from the administration, we were, we were evaluating different VLEs, and finally, because of the school's demand and self-installation of Moodle, we decided to adopt uh, Moodle as the main uh, VLE. So this is an, uh, an example, among others, that schools are also defining uh, products, defining uh, policies, and we have to uh, go further on that, on that uh, way. And also to encourage the uh, adoption of uh, open, open standards in a way to exchange and to promote in interoperability. So that's all uh, for, this, uh, for this presentation. Just to thank you for your uh, presentation. Thank you very much.